Hey, how's it going, fellow YouTubers? Um, I am going to show you how to make a electronic eyepiece for your telescope. And what you're going to need is a 35 millimeter film case, a one and a quarter inch grommet from a plumbing department of a, any store, a little black project box from a uh, I don't know, a project place. I don't know. I picked it up at a little craft store. A little piece of foam, if you want, or some hot glue. Um, four screws, preferably black. These screws here come with the. Uh, they come with the little black box, so you don't need to worry about that. And then, of course, some screwdrivers and mainly the webcam. Now, this is the guts, the insides, the the remains I guess of a uh, an HP HD 3100 webcam it was really nice and simple to take apart and it worked really well for the idea of it but for the actual quality it's it doesn't really matter you don't have to spend this much it doesn't seem because the image quality really varies on your telescope the one thing I'm going to let you know though is that you need to take this lens off of the webcam. It doesn't work properly without the web or without the lens on, so make sure to take that off so it looks like this and you're taking this little piece off. It's right here. So, I'll show you what I've done with the little black box here. I've put some foam inside there so that this will sit flush in there while it's mounted. I've drilled a little hole here for the microphone in case you want to record any UFO sightings or anything and you want the excitement in the air of holy crap I just saw UFOs through my telescope and my homemade electronic eyepiece. Isn't that insane? Drill the hole here for the camera to come through and then I've got four little holes here for the screws to hold the rubber grommet and the 35 millimeter lens on and yeah that's basically it so let me just show you how to put it together now when it comes to taking this apart you're gonna have to do that on your own because I don't have the parts anymore to show you how to do it it was really simple and it's easy to do it very cleanly so uh, I'm sure that you'll be able to figure it out because you're all super geniuses so, to start, what I'll do is I'll throw the mic or the mic at the top button here, at the top hole, and I'll just get that. It's nice and soft, so it just squeezes through like a pimp. And then you throw that down there, get it nice and straight, and then you get your piece of styrofoam, and you throw that in there too. And just hold it nice and straight and flush so that everything works perfectly. And then you smoothly grab the top and put it on there. Squeeze her down tight and make sure that everything's aligned properly before you before you put it in. Now this is nice for having this this eyepiece or this lens rather because you can put the lens on some people can put the lens on I am screwing up royally right now trying to do it you just go in your hole there we go and then you can kind of move it around a bit you know get it nice and straight make sure that everything's all perfect in it you know what I mean perfection is key here guys perfection is key this is why we're doing this and not buying it because we're perfect I'm going to start over and um, yeah, guess we'll be editing that part out. So we'll get that in there nice and straight and flush. Get lots of force and pressure down on that so it doesn't move on me again. Maybe we won't edit that out, maybe we will, because you know it's not like it's easy, right? So everyone will get a true test of it but that looks fairly it doesn't have to be straight it's just nice if it's straight but you can adjust it while it's on the telescope which is 
very nice very nice indeed so screw that in there get that nice and screwed in and you put your other two in get them screwed on nice and tight as well alright so everything's nice and tight in there and flush nice and straight so now comes the fun part you get your 35 millimeter film case and you slide it through the grommet first I'll show you on the bottom side of the grommet you can see I've kind of shaved it right here so that it fits nice and flush see how nice and flush that is perfect and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put this here and screw our screws in with the correct screwdriver that's preferably the one that makes all of the money happen There's one, two, and just to give you it, I got this idea off a gentleman off the internet and I thought that I would just lend a hand to his ingenious idea and help out by making another video so that other people can relate or have someone else to ask questions to, but I can't take credit for this at all. This is definitely another genius's idea and I just kind of elaborated on it and did my own thing and I hope that everyone does their own thing. and everyone makes their own video and makes YouTube the new television because that's basically what it is it's the new school for learning that's what I say and what I say goes so you guys better pay attention to what I say you're sitting there wondering if I'm kidding or not right I'm gonna leave you wondering oh my gosh And so, with that final screw in there, take a look guys, how clean and nice does that look for a camera that you attach to your telescope, and then you plug this end into your computer and you can see the moon on a screen instead of through a tiny little hole. I think that's freaking amazing and it's really a simple, simple task that anyone can do. Anyone can do this. You just got to have faith in yourself. So, get to work guys and go see those stars. The moon looks amazing through this. That's all I have to say. Have a good night. And uh, yeah, I enjoy YouTube. Hope you do too.